Hey guys, it's Lisa, and today if you are a lipstick lover, then you are going to love this video. I have 13 new lips here, two drugstore or Ulta and the rest. Actually, I walked in the other day and now Dior is at my Ulta. I have one Ulta that has Chanel, Hourglass, and Dior, and then the other one has Lancome, Estee Lauder, so I'm in luck. You know, I don't have a big Sephora, but I do have those. What I've done is put on a lip liner. This is one that I bought during my makeup frenzy extravaganza when I thought I was going to try to review every new thing for you guys. I quickly realized that's not my thing. I just like to find what's the best. I don't really want to have to tell you all of the negatives and stuff too. So that did not work out for me. But I did find a lot of good stuff during that time, and this is one of them. It's the Morphe Lip Liner in Makeup Talk. And I've got it on now. I don't have on my overhead light. I have on a ring light way back there, and I have this window, and I'm hoping we have enough light. The reason I did that is because I would rather it be too dark, but you get to see the real color of these lip products. So that is my goal. Let's see, first thing that we can talk about are the Lawless Lip Glosses. It's so funny how sometimes you can buy something and I remember when I bought one of these, it was in the midst of the Black Friday and Christmas holidays. And I was, you know, just doing videos back to back to back. When you're like that, it's almost like before you do one video, you have to just think about doing the next one. And sometimes things just don't stick in your mind. And that is how this lip gloss did. It is the Lawless Lip Gloss in Glazed. This is so pretty. It's like that pearliness that I love and it looks so good over everything. Okay, I've got the Makeup Talk lip liner still left on my hand for you to see. And so let's put um, Glazed right here. See how it just gives a little bit of a glaze to your lips. So anytime you put on a lipstick and you feel like it's just, eh, it's just kind of flat. I mean, it looks good, but it's not wowing you. Put a little bit of this on. I mean, I feel the same way about Buxom Celeste, but I know a lot of you don't like the cooling aspect of Buxom Celeste. This, it doesn't have that. And it's all natural. Lawless products are, you know, vegan, this, that, and the other thing. She's all natural. That's that's kind of how she got, not discovered, but famous, is by her all-natural diet, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, if you watched my video, it was the rose-colored Get Ready With Me. I will put the link up here. I tried one of these lip glosses, and it is just magical. It is the prettiest lip gloss, and it's called, it's a limited edition, and it's called Pixie. And it is along those same lines, but your pink tone. So can you see how glazed is more of a beigey, I would say kind of like a beigey pink, but that one's just more of your Barbie pink, just beautiful. And they feel really good, cushiony. If you like the Moon and those Maybelline, are they Maybelline or L'Oreal? It's the lifter glosses. If you like those, you will love these. And then there was Nudie that came in this little collection too. This one is a little bit more um, creamy. There is one called Cherry Vanilla that I'm gonna order and some other ones. Even Annie is a good one. So I wanted to tell you about those and show them to you again because I really have been loving them. A lot of days that I don't like or love my lip, I can put one of these on and it's just perfect. I feel like I need to put some lips on. So let's start with two lipsticks that I got from Rose Ink. One is Besotted and one is Demure. Let's see, Besotted looks too dark for me, but so many of you ask me about the Rosy lipsticks. I do not like that one. This one is Demure. I gotta admit that I am somewhat disappointed in Rosie's line because I feel like you guys know what a fan I've always been of her 
lips and her look and everything else, but what she came out with just seems so boring to me. So let's try this one, which is the Demure. So that is very pretty. I mean, I do like that. I think that is more like what I associate. I always think of that Burberry one that I loved so much that she liked. So that one, and it has like a, a scent to it, almost like a sweet, maybe candy smell. So that I would say is a winner. So the bad thing about doing lip swatches is my lips are going to get red. So I brought my wipes out here and I brought a microfiber towel to try to gently remove everything that I can. So I would say besotted, I mean, I think you could probably see this color very well. If that is your color, oh, I feel guilty. I feel guilty for not trying it on. Let's try it on. Wow, that, what a beautiful surprise that is. I'm so glad you guys made me try this on. <laughs> Let's use that glaze and see what happens. See how that just gives it some life and makes it look a little bit better. I love it. So I take it back, Rosie. They look boring but they are good, good colors. Wow, I'm pretty impressed with that. So I'm gonna throw the boxes away. Wasn't that funny? Was it last week that I had all my boxes on the floor? Because a lot of times what I do is after I show something in my videos, I will just throw the box on the floor, put the products away, and then the next time I get up, I'll take the boxes and throw them away. Well, I didn't realize you guys could see on the floor in that mirror. Hilarious. So now let's wipe this off and let's show you the two Colorstay suede ink. I saw these, I got them at CVS. Let's see, Hot Girl and That Girl. And these are the Colorstay suede ink. They're lipsticks. You would think that they would, you know, most of them are like the wand. And they had one that I really wanted and somebody had opened the package and it was the last one left. So let's try, oh, you know what? I realized after I got these, they all of them look like they've been used when you open them, they just do. And so that one had been opened though, I wouldn't have gotten it. So, okay, this is 008, that girl. Okay, that's a pretty pink. I like these dusty pinks actually. They're very versatile. It's a good way to wear color and wear pink without it being too loud. I mean, I like loud lip colors, especially on other people, especially if you have dark hair and dark eyes. But a lot of times I think it like overpowers my face. So that is a good pink. And I think I would love it even more with a good lip liner, but it doesn't feel special on my lips. It might need a gloss. I think this one is more of what I like. So that one is more of that, I don't know, like a rusty pink, almost like Max Spice. It isn't very spreadable, but I will bet these will stay on forever. See, it's too much color for me. I think sometimes you have to pick your lips or your eyes. And I was just telling someone the other day when I was getting the Dior, she loved this like bright pink color. And I said, I would love that in the summer with no eye makeup and my big sunglasses. That's how I think of like bright pink or red lips. I would rather just have no eye makeup on because I feel like it's just too much for my face. I feel like I should be on the news. You know what I mean? It's just too professional or made up for me. I just, that's how I feel. But these, I don't know. Are they special? I mean, I don't think they're bad. It's good solid color, but I think it just takes a lot to wow me these days. Okay, so I just went and looked at these again in the natural light, and I went and got MAC Creme de Nude, but it's a light color, but I feel like it will help neutralize my lips and moisturize them a little bit, and then we can go on to the next. So I think, yeah, the beauty of these two is the muted color and they're going to last a long time. Color stay, yes. Usually when I find ones like that, they're, I give them to my mom because she likes something that she can put on and it's gonna last a while and I think she'll like that. Let me give my lips just a little break and let's go on to some other things that I wanna tell you about. Okay, when I did that video, the pink Valentine's Day look. I used the Colorstay Revlon, what a coincidence, long wear makeup. I used the combination oily and I got the color 
let's see, 330, which I believe was like natural tan. And it was just a smidgen too dark. We can all make different things work. But if you get a makeup that's too dark or too light and you have to kind of compensate with other makeup, you'll end up putting on too much makeup. So when I was in the store, this is the whole reason I went in CVS. I loved this so much. Even that night, that makeup looked so good when I went to take it off. So I went in CVS and I got this color, which is 310. And I don't know the name right now of it. But this morning I swatched these and I mixed them and that's what I have on today. And it is pretty perfect. Now I might try just the lighter one next time. I just didn't wanna, I don't know. I just didn't want it to be too light for my video, but I really think mixing these is a good match for me. A good match for all over. Oh, I just love it. So if you haven't tried these lately, I mean, I tried them a long time ago, but I gave up on my shade. Mixing these two, that is good. And I think it's one of those that is good to mix because a lot of people tell me they mix two different shades. Okay, now I just want to, I feel like I've said this so many times, but days when I use something and I just think, oh, I love this. It just makes me want to tell you again, no matter what. And that's how I feel about this eyeshadow palette. It's the M Cosmetics Divine Skies Rodin palette. Every time I wear this, I love it. It is just a beautiful palette. It's very easy and I love it. Okay, another thing that I use today that I have not used in a while is this Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Universe. I'm not sure it's still available. I'm pretty sure it's available on their website, but really all of these are good and I'll get them and then for some reason kind of forget about them. But I brought this one out today because I really do like that powder right there. I remember loving this last summer. What I did today is after I put on my Tarte Shape Tape, I set it with this and my Beauty Blender, Damp Beauty Blender, instead of like all of that, you know, heavier, loose powder. And I just think it's beautiful. I think you can tell under my eyes that it's so much creamier and pretty. And then I did use this bronzer also. So that is something I wanted to tell you about. And then I have two powders that are both good. So I couldn't wait to tell you about these. The first one I got in PR from Bare Minerals and it's a new Bare Pro 16 hour skin perfecting powder foundation. They sent me two colors and the darker one Oh my goodness, okay. This is just the postman. We've got um, the fence guy. We're gonna get a fen the backyard fenced in and he's supposed to be here like in the next week or so. I thought it was him, but it's the mailman. As I was saying, the other one that they sent me was a really warm tone. I feel like I still have it somewhere, but it was crushed. It was just like crushed beyond. I tried to like press it down, but I felt like if I tried to use it like that, it wouldn't be a true, picture of what it is because it was just going to be like powder. So this color is really pretty. It's actually the light 25 cool. It's really, really neutral is what I would say. So I set all of my makeup with this on this side. Then one of you guys told me, I believe in my last video or one before last, that you loved the Clinique Stay Matte Sheer Pressed Powder Oil Free. So I went to Ulta and they color matched me in Stay Beige and here it is. So I'm this on this side. Okay, so here we are. This, I'm gonna turn towards the light over here on this side and this on this side. This was my thoughts. This is beautiful, beautiful. When you put this on, it just, smooths your skin and it just makes it look yummy and gorgeous. I mean, I just really, really, really like this. And I was thinking, oh, this one's the winner. But see, this is a setting powder, Stay Matte Sheer Pressed Powder Oil Free. It's not supposed to be a foundation, whereas this is a foundation powder that you can use wet or dry. It even comes with a spongy thing. So I don't think I can say, you know, that I like that one better because it's apples and oranges. I just at least wanted you to see the colors and 
I don't know, when I think about like these powders and stuff, it, I mean, I'm silly because everything gets me excited for the summer, but summer is when I love like mineral powders and, you know, putting on very minimal makeup, like one pump of a foundation that I would typically use, spread it out really well, and then go in with a powder to kind of finish up. And then that just locks it in, even at the pool or the beach. And a lot of times it will have sunscreen in it too. So both of these I consider a winner. Okay, this is something I reordered. I've had this before and it's so messy. It's so messy, but it's so good. And it's the Charlotte Tilbury Medium Deep Contour Wand. I do love it. It's like when I think about it, I have good thoughts. I haven't used it lately and I'll be honest with you, my favorite product like this ever, of course, you know I love the Chanel Deep Universal, but I'm, I like to try different things because if you guys don't like that, I want to offer you some other, some alternatives. But this is just gorgeous. What happens is this daggone sponge tip gets really gunky. Like you open it and you squeeze it till it comes up and then you close it, but it starts getting really gunky and it's like you never have to squeeze it again. I'm gonna really try not to get too much out this time. Let me know if you want to see me use this. I got some new lights and everything, so maybe the next makeup video we do, we'll do in my bathroom upstairs. I've never done one in that bathroom. We'll try it out. But I know makeup, like my makeup videos, don't do very well anymore, but sometimes I think they're still worth it. What I was gonna say is my favorite product like that is the Rodeal Bronze drops or whatever. I'll put a picture up here. That product is beautiful, but Rodeal is not quite as accessible, but I love it. Okay, two blushes that I ordered from Sephora. And the sad thing was I got this box. I guess it's the sad thing and it's a good thing. I got this box of stuff, I think the day after I did last week's video, but the good thing is I got to use it all week. These are so pretty. It's the Too Faced Cloud Crush 93% natural origin blurring blush. And it comes in this pretty box. And I ordered two colors. I will probably end up getting the peachy color too, but I wanted to try these. I got Golden Hour and I got Velvet Crush. So Golden Hour is very pink to me. I'm wearing it today. So, and this kind of pink is my favorite in the summer. I like to put it on when I'm tan. Like in the winter, I find that I don't wear as much pink. The other day I wore that daggone Dior rosy blush and my cheeks were popping. It was just too much. That is definitely a summer blush for me. And so is this. I've used it before, so I knew how pigmented it is. I would use a fluffy sheer type brush and keep it high back on the backs of your cheeks. Sometimes I like a, the plush right here, but it's a look for me. I have to be in the mood. But the packaging is, it looks like a little macaroon or something. Just how, it's beautiful. It's like what makeup lovers love. It's just so pretty. Okay, this is the kind of blush that I like now. It's, you know, think Tarte Exposed. All of the natural type blushes, look how pretty it is. This is the blush for you if you're not a blush person. If you just basically want to give your face some life, you want to give your face a little contour and everything, this is the blush for you. It's beautiful. And let's see, Velvet Crush. Just so pretty. And not patchy at all. I mean, good, good blushes. Okay, look at this little guy. Well, it's actually a girl. It's actually a girl. She has on earrings, and this is a dress. And then with her shades, this is the new fragrance from Paco Rabanne. Paco Rabanne Olympia is just one of my favorite fragrances of all times. I, every time I put it on, I love it. I gave Brooke my little bottle, and she said that people were complimenting her at work. It is just, it's like a salty vanilla. Another salty vanilla, a friend of mine just got this and she loves it. She said it was like vanilla mixed with the ocean. And I was like, how much better can that get? It is the Vanilla Vibes. That's a really good one too. Okay, this is the new 
fragrance from Paco Rabanne called Fame. Evidently, last year he put out a fragrance for men, and it was, you know, I can't remember what it was called, Fortune, I believe. So this is the female version, and it is so good. It is so good. I thought to myself, Lisa, you do not need this fragrance, but it just kept calling my name and I thought, you know, I've got to try it. I looked at the notes. It's got a top mango note. It's got vanilla. It's got lots of jasmine. And you know, I just discovered how much I love jasmine and I believe it's got a little bit of sandalwood. So it's kind of like a fruity scent that is more mature. It's not really tropical. It has like a creamy base. It's just like everything in one. And I think if you are someone that likes really niche, crazy fragrances that kind of have like a different spark to them, it might not be for you because it might be a little too safe. But for someone like me that loves vanilla, sandalwood, and a lot of times mango to me is too fruity. It's too body splash this isn't like that and another thing i love is that you don't have a cap you just spray the top it is so good it makes me so happy if you like prada paradox if you like all the things that i like you are going to like this it's got an exciting element to it which i think might be the mango but then it's got that creamy base that keeps it sexy and very feminine. It's just, it's awesome. I really think you would love it no matter what. I don't think you need to test it. I feel pretty confident if you like what I like, you are going to like this. It is so good. And I think, you know, I was watching a review and the girl said she would never put it on her vanity. I like it. I think it's cool. So that is the Paco Rabanne in Fame. Okay, I'm going to give my lips just a little bit longer. Let's talk about toothpaste, Boca, Ella Mint Toothpaste. One of you guys told me that you loved this. It is so good. This toothpaste will make you look forward to brushing your teeth, which I love to brush my teeth anyway. It is a fortifying 100% non-toxic version of the primary foundation of teeth and bones. Gently remineralizes whitening and anti-sensitivity. Apply a pea-sized amount, so it's vegan, cruelty-free, no fluoride, no SLS, no parabens, no artificial flavors, and no endocrine disruptions. <laughs> Goodness. And it's not sweet. Oh, it's perfect. It is, it's mild. It's a mild, minty, smooth, fresh toothpaste that I think is worth trying and I love it. And it's just so daggone pretty in your toothbrush drawer. It's a good one. This is a little phone case that I saw on one of the bloggers that I'm friends with, or she's an Instagrammer. She has a blog, it's Veronica's Blushing. I have followed her for so long and one day it just popped up. She was showing these phone cases and I just think they're so pretty. They're silicone. You can get them in all different colors and I just thought that was pretty. I've always loved things with a scalloped edge. The bad thing is I just got all kinds of tripod things that have like the magnet where I can use the Apple magnet thing that's like on this phone case. I don't know if I'll end up using this. I might have to end up gifting it, but I think it's so pretty. I wanted to show you. I just really love being able to stick that on the tripod to do outfits of the day and things like that. Okay, this is something that I was watching Sam Shurman's channel and she had these on and they are the wristbands that you put on when you're washing your face for the dreaded drip down your arm. I hate that. Matter of fact, for years, that was one of the reasons I didn't like washing my face like this in the sink because I just hated that feeling. So I took out the white ones. I'm gonna give Brooke a pair. And then my niece, who is eight years old, has gotten into skincare. I gave her a Ulta gift card for Christmas, among other things. And my brother said that she loved it, that she loved going shopping with it. And she said that she's been really into skincare. And she always talks about skincare with me now. And there's just not but so many things I can get her, you know, being so young. So I'm gonna give her the rainbow 
pair to use with her skincare, and she will love that. First, let me show you real quick these NYX Ultimate Glow Shots. These are eyeshadows, but shimmery, and I swatched them in the store, and they look like something that might be good for the summer. Okay, I'm gonna say that they're not extremely pigmented, but that's a good thing. That really is. It might just give you a sheen. This is the color Grapefruit Glow. This is Mango. I think it may be more what we're looking for, but I was thinking that they might be good too. Can you see that? Over, like say you're using that Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk eyeshadow, or another favorite is MAC Groundwork Paint Pot. And it's perfect, but it needs a little something on the lid. That's what I was thinking these might be good for, and they're inexpensive. Okay, so now let's do some more lips. And I want to put this lip liner on again. This is a good lip liner. It's not very often that you get a lip liner like this that's that smooth. I mean, I could just go with that. Yay! I was craving a new lip liner. I got four of the Dior Addict. These are the Shine lipsticks. I believe these have been around as far as like a formula, but I believe some of these colors are new. Let's do them in numerical order. Okay, so I got 373, which is Rose Celestial. I got 329, which is Thai and Dior. 331 is the one I'm most excited about. It's called Mimi Rose. And then 418 is Beige Oblique. I tell you what, I'm gonna start with Beige Oblique just because I feel like we should go from the lightest to the darkest. Beautiful packaging like you would expect. And this is more like it when it comes to formula. Okay, that's beautiful. It feels magnificent. After feeling this, it's like, I hate for you to put those others on. See how it's the beigey color. Oh, it is so good. It is so good. You need it. Okay, so I'm feeling good about these. Now, next, let's do Mimi Rose. Look at that goodness. So this one, let's put above that one. It's my typical, just not rose. It's more of like a corally, pinky type rose. Oh, it's beautiful. Now let's put on Mimi Rose. That name is just cool, isn't it? This is just perfection. They feel good. They don't feel too slicky or greasy or oily feeling. They feel balmy. They have just enough color. This is better than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, now I can see there was like a whole row on the underneath that was darker colors and I would say darker and brighter, but a lot of dark colors. But I can see now how this would be beautiful in those darker colors because it's somewhat sheer but still so balmy. Oh, I hate to take that off. It is just divine. So now let's do Thai and Dior. Okay, that is, gosh, that's even lighter than this one. Sorry, it's probably hard to see on my bony hands. Can you just tell how good these feel? That is so good. It has just the perfect amount of slip. I haven't even read about these. Shine lipstick, intense color, hydrating floral lip care. Okay, so they are like a lip balm. Oh my gosh, I love that so much. Now, the last one is Rose Celestial, and I think I remember this one being kind of like an out there color for me. Somewhat bright, but now that I know, look at that. That's beautiful. Now that I know, I'm not scared. Now this I can wear. This I can wear even with all this eye makeup because I feel like it's got enough sheerness and it's just not so serious. It's not so made up. I love it. Oh my goodness, you guys. These are beautiful. I think this is so good for younger girls, like even teenagers, which I know this isn't something that they'd want. And even mature women like us because it's so balmy. I feel like it's just not too serious and it's not sticking in the lines of my lips. It's so much better than those rosy ones. Oh my goodness. But I understand, I understand that everybody likes something different. I'm gonna wipe these off and let's do two glosses that I got. Now I can't help it, let's put a little bit of this back on. It makes everything better and it allows you to wear glosses 
you know, by themselves. Let's start with number 16, Shimmer Nude. Oh, they smell good too. You know what this reminds me of? Do you guys remember, this is how crazy about makeup I've always been, uh, the good old J-Lo, back in the day, the first Benefer, when she did that whole album with him and they were on the yacht and just that whole era, I remember the makeup artist saying that she wore, it was some Dior gloss. I cannot remember the one. I was there and I got it. It was so good. And this reminds me of it because it was a nude like that. Oh, it's a lip maximum. I was gonna say, huh? It feels a little like it's plumping my lips. Okay, lip plumping gloss, maximum hydration, volume effect, instant and long term. It's not burny, it's kind of minty. I would say not as strong as the Buxom, but along those lines. Okay, the next one is Shimmer Rose, number 30, and it's also the lip plumping. It's very beautiful. This one, does it, it says Shimmer Rose? The shimmer is not a lot. It's not like sparkle. It almost has a licorice type smell. I wonder if it has something in there that is kind of licorice-y. I'm gonna leave on that one. What do you guys think? That is so pretty. So there is definitely a lip product for you here. Okay, so now let's go on to some hair. I ordered this from Sephora, I believe. It's a Shu Yumura Pure Serenity Deep Cleanser, clarifying shampoo. You guys know I'm like studying the hair fiber and all of these different products. And I've realized not to be scared of a good cleanser like this. And I'll go over it more when we talk about like routines and stuff. But a lot of times it's good to use a clarifying shampoo or a volume or one that just cleanses well on your first wash. Then go in with your second wash with a more moisturizing and then we'll talk about that. So I got this one to try. I read that it was one of the best ones. Another good one is the Redken Cream Cleanser. That one's supposed to be good too. Okay, I ordered this, the Orbe Soft Lacquer Heat Styling Spray. The high gloss flexible finishing spray delivers a patent sheen with the softest touch. The perfect polished top coat. It can be left untouched where a lacquer finish gently must for light texture and shine or used with hot irons to seal in shimmer. Hold level is five. That's cool. See, that's another thing that I'm really learning is you want to use, of course, heat protection, but if you use a heat protection that has the hold in it, then you don't need a hairspray or you don't need as much mousse, you know, things like that. That way you can go longer in between washing, your style will hold longer, and then that in turn is less damage. So it kind of um, all works together. I can't wait to try that. Have you seen that? Um, I think it's a TikTok or something where the girl sprays a Q-tip with a heat protection spray and then she lights it on fire and she blows it out and there's like nothing. And then the other end, she lights it on fire and then she blows it out and it's like singed to nothing. Ooh, that was a good one. Oh, look how pretty this is. Wow. Okay, let's, let's spray it. <laughs> it's not too heavily fragranced like a lot of Orbe products are. Mm -mm, it's not. Ooh, I'll use that soon and let you guys know. One of you guys talked about this shampoo and conditioner and I had never heard of it. So of course I was intrigued and I ordered just a little kit of what you were talking about. It's the Philip B Discovery Kit and it's the Philip B Russian Amber Imperial Collection. Okay, I do smell that. Orbe now, it smells so good. So it has the Peppermint Avocado Shampoo, the Russian Amber Imperial Shampoo, and the Russian Amber Imperial Conditioner. It's supposed to be really good and it's bougie. Restore youthful shine. Refreshes your scalp and deeply cleans your hair to keep it bouncy and gleaming. So, okay, this is kind of like what I was just talking about. You use one shampoo to really get clean and get all that junk out and then you use a opulent, rejuvenating luxury shampoo named the best shampoo by Vogue. How have I missed this? This restorative color protective shampoo gives hair a dramatically youthful feel and radiance from the very first use. Then we have the conditioner, rejuvenating ultra potent conditioner powered by the exclusive active ingredients, repairs damage at a cellular level 
while protecting against color fade. Uncover the extraordinary profound benefits of in just one use. Even the driest strands come out gleaming, bouncy, and renewed. Okay, I will definitely be using this soon and reporting back. It came in the nicest box. When I first got it, I was like, what is this? And then they also sent me some samples of the conditioner, um, Nordic Wood Hair and Body Shampoo, Invigorating, and then Peppermint Avocado Scalp Scrub. Scalp, you know, that's like one of the latest things. Along with the whole repair and things like that, I'm learning about that. They're not all equal. I think a lot of them are using the marketing just like hyaluronic acid or, you know, all of that stuff. So we'll get into that in a future hair video. Okay, this. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> the K18. I'm just gonna tell you what I think so far. And if you, any of you out there have anything to add, I would love it. I've used this in the past one time. Morgan put it on my hair at a, a hair appointment. I mean, this was like six months, a year ago, a long, long time. Didn't think anything of it. So I got it again because so many people love this. And this is different than Olaplex. This is supposed to go deep inside the hair and repair the inside, whereas Olaplex kind of repairs the outside. So I took it and she put it on my hair the other night when I got my new haircut. And then it, she was blowing it out. She was like, oh, it feels so good or whatever. Well, it kind of went straight the next day, but I didn't think anything of it. And so when I washed my hair yesterday before I did that video, I felt like, you know, I should use this again because you're supposed to use it, I think, five or six times in a row to get the maximum benefits. So I used it again. And it leaves my hair feeling not soft. And I know it's not supposed to, but I don't like the way it leaves my hair feeling. So let me know. I've heard that you can use conditioner after you have left it on for four minutes, but let me know. So I guess I'm just throwing it out there. I'm looking for your advice. And then, I don't know where I got this from, but it's the Bumble and Bumble Invisible Oil Mask. Instantly infuses dry hair with moisture and nourishment. So, I know a lot of you like this. I'm going to use that and try it. I think it was in my Sephora. Oh my goodness. Okay, now we're down to the dress that I have on, which is from H&M. I just got it like two days ago. I love it. I love it. And thank goodness, this and the jeans that I'm getting ready to show you, I hate trying things on so bad, I really do. But you know what I hate worse? Returning things. So I fussed at myself and said, get in that dressing room and try these things on. And for sure, I had both of them too big. So I went back out and I got this dress in the small. And I've got on my Uggs. Let me put on my Zara heels that look so good with it. And I love it. This is a cool dress. And I hope you can see how just like soft and like satiny it is. And I love a dress that has, you know, this like ruching because it's very, very forgiving. Because I, you can see my abs here, but right here I still have that I'm a mama, you know, skin and just that little bit of fluff right there so it hides that and i think it's like the perfect length it's right above the knee and just the perfect little flare out and i love it and you guys know how i feel about these shoes from zara they're just a must-have i love the ones from schutz but these are just slightly for one thing, they're less expensive. I feel like they're slightly less formal because the heel isn't pointed. It's more of a block heel. And I love the nude. I mean, you just, you have to have, they look good with jeans. They look good with everything, everything. Speaking of jeans, I got these jeans. Let me stand back up. I would not say these are like the most flattering jeans, but I wore the heck out of these yesterday. And I mean, I wore them all day long and they were so comfortable. They're actually called the 90s baggy, I believe. And I got the size four and they just kind of took me back 
to the almost to the late 80s like the acid wash days this is the main attraction is these cargo pockets and they are kind of high-waisted and just really soft like they're they're definitely denim but they're a soft denim they're very very comfortable and for what they are they're very flattering let me see what they're made of a hundred percent cotton that is good that is good that's going to be perfect for the summer too so i think you might need these i think you need these just to have fun with and play with and let me know down below you know i have all these fashion video ideas and sometimes i don't do them because i feel like you guys already know you know what i mean you already know what i like you already know but would you like me to do a styling video with the baggy jeans and just give you some different shoe options different tops and stuff like that let me know if that's something that you would like and i think that's it you guys thank you so much for being here i look forward to friday so I, this is actually thursday because i wanted to take my time but i look forward to this video because this is this is our home you know what i mean this is just us together talking i don't have to hurry i don't have to i don't know i can just be me so thank you so much for allowing me to be with you in your home or in your car, and I will see you real soon. Bye-bye.